Welcome to Beyond Protocol Tutorials by Devros. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to design and build a beginning space station that can build any size ship. Now let's start off with designing an engine for our space station. So here we'll go into our engine builder and go to space station and we want this to have as much power as we possibly can. Now one thing I want to show you here is I'm going to use an alloy I won't be using for this but I wanted to uh, show you as an example. Now, one thing that's kind of off about this is it adds a crap ton of crew and it always makes it uh, impossible to build. It's as simple as going down and lowering them all to one. You don't want to have anything over one in this, otherwise it will make your uh, uh, engine and space station cost way too much. But now if you, if you look here, you can see how many minerals it's going to take to uh, build this engine. Holy crap. Well, that's because if you notice, I am not using the uh, perfect alloys. I'm using mediocre alloys by comparison. But if I switch this to alloys I should be using, watch how much that drops down. This is what good alloys can do. And this isn't even a, a good alloy. This is just a proper alloy. It makes a huge difference in your uh, mineral and alloy usage. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. And because this is the numbers were so drastic there, it made it a great uh, example for what I've been trying to preach this entire time. <laughs> Now what we're going to do is, if you notice, it doesn't take very long to build this engine right now as it is, so let's go ahead and increase our uh, production time, and it's majorly going to lower our uh, mineral usage. And now as you can see, we uh, now don't have as many minerals as large as our hull is, so we need to lower this down to raise that up a bit, and voila, there we go. So let's go ahead and give this a name. Research complete. And there we go. We have designed a 40K engine for our space station. Now, now normally the next step would be to uh, design a radar, but for right now, for simplicity's sake, we are just going to design an engine because our, our space station has to have power. We're just going to put a beginning radar on it just to keep things simple. Um, I don't plan on this being anything I'm going to use for any extended period of time. This is just going to be something that uh, will get me by and give you the basic overview of what it takes to uh, design and build a space station. I'm not going to put any weapons on it either, however I highly recommend once you uh, make better space stations that you definitely arm and armor them. I will probably put armor on my uh, space station just to give it uh, some some protection and so it's not quite as easy to kill. 
Now that we have our engine design, let's go ahead and uh, keep things simple. We'll just go ahead and make our uh, our hull. We're going to keep things simple here. Um, I'm not going to make a radar or weapons for it just yet because this isn't... I don't have enough tech to really make anything worth building uh, long term. But what you want to use for your first space station is the military base too. This is, will give you the ability to build any ship possible in this game. And it's because of the size of the hangar bay. If you don't have a uh, hangar bay large enough to uh, build it, then you won't be able to construct it at that facility. But with this, you will be able to build any size hull that the game has available. And this is the trick to that. You just fill up one side. Now, because we have a hangar bay door that big, we also need a hangar big enough to support that. So let's go ahead and make a hangar that's large enough to uh, support that. Also, they uh, need to be, it doesn't need to be connected on each side, but that's how I like to do it. Now, our hangar bay is not as big as our uh, door yet, so let's continue to uh, add some here. and we're getting closer and there we go now they're pretty much the same size now I have enough hangar, hangar bay to build whatever I need now another thing that you're going to need is of course you're going to want a radar but for now, we're just going to put a uh, one block in there for a basic radar, and our engine's pretty small. It was only uh, 12 or 13K, and one block here gives us 26K. So our engine, go make sure your engine compartment's big enough for your engine. Um, right now, most of your tech is probably going to be so low, um, one block is going to be more than enough. Now, another big thing that you're definitely that you really need to add is you have to have cargo space. If you do not have cargo space to put your uh, parts and materials, then you won't be able to build anything. So let's go ahead and put some cargo space in here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up all because I got all this rear area. Now this is, probably isn't the most well-balanced design ever, but it's good enough to uh, get you building out in space. Now if you want, you can add weapons. It, you can have up to 40 on here. I'll go into arm, arming your uh, space stations later on, but for right now, you just want to be able to build out in space. So this will give you that ability and it'll give you a chance to figure out how the uh, space stations themselves work. But for right now, it, um, for your low tech levels, you really don't need to be playing around with uh, space stations all that much because they're fret. They are very easy to destroy in all honesty. They take a lot of tech to be able to be uh, as fortified as you'd want them to be. But for right now, let's go ahead and uh, give this our name. and submit our design. Research complete. Now, this is probably going to uh, take a while to research. Yeah, it says right now it's gonna take about three hours to research, so let's go ahead and research this and uh, we'll come back to it. Research initiated. All right, now that our hull and engine have finished designing and building, let's go ahead and uh, put together our prototype. Go and find our uh, new hull. Put our uh, engine in it. And like I said before, we're just going to use a beginning radar. And I'm going to put some of my uh, 3K, 90K, uh, 3000 hull, 90,000 HP. And I'm going to put a few uh, things on each side. I think I'm going to try and. Uh, put enough on to where my armor matches my structure.
and don't forget to uh, do your production. As you'll be able to see here, it's going to cost just a little under two million to build. I need one colonist, one enlisted, one officer to build it, as as well as twenty-one five fifty hull. It, it, pretty much everything that you see here that it says that you need, you need to put into a cargo ship. So we're going to go ahead and let that research, and while it's researching, research we'll uh, stock up our cargo ship. Vector. Research complete. I'll go here. You see here's our uh, cargo ship and what we're gonna do is we needed one one enlisted or one colonist one enlisted one officer I'm gonna just throw uh, 2200 hull in here that way I know I have enough our engine that we built and we needed um, we needed 280 of our uh, armor And a beginning radar. Alright, now that we have that in there, let's go ahead and launch, launch him. And we're going to set Setting him up into course. orbit. Also, we need to find uh, an engineer. We have an engineer right here. Let's send him up into orbit as well. And here they are. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Move them a bit. Course. Now to build our uh, space station, as you can see here, it's the only thing because it's the only thing we can build in space. I'm gonna go now. You can only be so close to uh, a planet. Later on, you'll get a uh, tech that'll actually let you build closer to planets and wormholes. But for right now, this is as close as you can get. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to build and watch what happens. Insufficient personnel. Because there's uh, nothing inside here, what you have to do is you actually have to take your two uh, and you have to combine them into a battle group. That way they're essentially together and can share resources. Once you have them in a battle group, then you will be able to build. I just wanted to show you uh, Order acknowledged. Construction started. how that works. And there you go. We are now building our space station. Construction complete. And here we can see we have our completed space station. Now, because neither of us are have armed space stations, we were able to build really close together. In fact, I didn't even know that this uh, this other space station was here. Oh well. Now you can go in and uh, build your modules, and it pretty much operates just like another little colony. There you can build your barracks, your factory modules, your hangar modules. Unfortunately, the modules that we have are all that we have. You can't make any newer or better ones. It's unfortunately all we've got. But you can uh, use it enough to uh, make what you need, get your uh, population up, uh, put a factory module in so you can build any of the uh, normal things, uh, the normal uh, ships that you would build normally on planet. Otherwise, um, if you can, if you, we had anything uh, larger to build, like uh, 
non-atmospheric frigates or destroyers are above, those would show up in a list underneath here. But as of right now, we have now built our first space station. I hope this was helpful and good luck to you all.